Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and to another Dollar Tree haul. Now, I spent $50, 50, $50, five zero at the Dollar Tree this week. On what you might ask, I have no idea. It's mostly groceries, um, mostly food items and some poop. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in and get started. I first like to say that if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, if you like Dollar Tree videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. We would love to have you here. Um, I do all kinds of content on this channel. Crafty stuff, Dollar Tree stuff, kids, mom things, uh, lunchbox videos, all that jazz. So if that's stuff that you like, I hope that you consider uh, hitting that subscribe button and sticking around. Um, and without further ado, we're going to talk about all the food and the poop that I bought at Dollar Tree this week. The first thing I'd like to say is Gordetto's. Um, I couldn't hardly get over. This is like the 8.6 ounce bag. This is the, you know, the snack mix. It also has box tops on it, um, which I'm really excited about. And these bad boys are good until July of 2019. Um, I just couldn't hardly believe my eyes. I had went to my local grocery store um, and got like bottled water there. And this, I looked at the price, the same exact bag, I kid you not, was $2.99. So saved $2.00. Actually, I saved six doll hairs because I bought three of them uh, because, like I said, the expiration dates are for next year and we'll eat them and also they all have box tops on them, which is a win-win for those of you guys out there that do not collect box tops, please do so. And even if you don't have any kids in school, you can always just turn them into the office at the school it goes towards um playground equipment and things like that or at least it does in my community i don't know about everybody's community but essentially that's what box tops are for so if you see those little um box tops and you throw your bag away don't cut them out and save them okay next up are some teddy grams teddy bears these are in the honey variety and they're just the little, you know, little packages. They are like, there's eight little packages in here. They're like 140 calories per package. Um, and like I said, they are the honey. I don't know if my kids will go for these, but we're going to give it a shot for lunch boxes. Um, and I got Orange Crush and Purple. This is, we're getting ready to start October. Um, my kids obviously don't have school on Monday. I don't know if your guys do, um, but here in my community, it is a teacher workshop or a, whatever, whatever it is those teachers do um, on their, there's a word for it, but it's just not coming to me. Your teachers out there, tell me what that word is. Leave it in the comment box below because I just don't know what it is. It's a day that they learn things, um, but I just can't think of what that term is called. Maybe I need to go back to school. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, I got the orange because it is October and what happens in October? Halloween. So I got the orange for the color and then I got purple because it's been a while since we had purple ones. I got these cheese and crackers because these are cheese and peanut butter because they're my husband's favorite. And then you guys, these things right here are the bomb. Um, I took these to work with me last week. I had bought some last week and there's four of them in there and they're like a hundred calorie uh, little uh, breakfast bars, but they taste just like Pop-Tarts. Like the strawberry Pop-Tarts, they taste like them. Um, and I don't know about you, but I can't eat like a whole Pop-Tart because it is so sugary. This is like the perfect amount of morning sugar that you would need with your coffee. So if you haven't tried these um, pastry crisp, um, I would pick them up and give them a try. They are delicious. I went ahead and bought two packs this time. That's all I've seen. Or else I probably would have maybe picked up more. I picked up some sugar-free uh, caramel hard candies. And I like picking these up when I see them. I don't always see them, but my dad is diabetic. So I like to get these for his Christmas stocking. 
Um, or I like to take them to work. If I need something sweet, I can pop it in there. And you can have five pieces and it's only 50 calories, so that's not bad. And I don't know about you, but I count my calories. I don't necessarily follow any particular type of diet per se, but I do my calories because that's how you burn fat is by being in a caloric deficit. So anyway, that's either here nor there. I found some bugles. And again, I was shocked to see these bugles and these are again not um, expired until uh, next year in May. They also have the box tops on them. So I got them in the Nacho, Nacho Mama. Got them in the nacho variety and then also in the barbecue variety for lunch boxes and things. And these really aren't that bad either. You get one and one third of a cup for, that's one serving is one and one third of a cup. And it's 160 calories for the barbecue one and the um, nacho one. So that's actually not that bad. We used to play with these all the time and do this jazz where we put the little things on our fingers whenever I was a kid. Raise your hand if you've done that. I certainly did. Um, and then, and then we got some cheddar cheese ones. These are the Austin ones. You can buy these in a box of like six at Walmart and I believe they're like $3 or $2, something like that. So I got those. Crackers are life around here. Bummer. And then Bud's Best Cookies. I love Bud's, Bud's Best Cookies. And these are the Pecan Chocolate Supreme. Six cookies, 140 calories. I don't have that bad of a sweet tooth, but I do sometimes have sweet tooth. So that, and that's all I would probably need. Six of those little cookies and then my craving's gone away. Guys, look, six bags. This is the Pop Weaver um, butter popcorn in the six bag variety. And I will just take this whole thing to work with me and leave it at my desk. And the reason why is because I have a Boy Scout and the Boy Scout sells popcorn. Um, so if any of you guys are out there looking for some really tasty popcorn, get in contact with the Boy Scout and buy some popcorn from them. Um, and so I have a whole bunch of it at my house right now because of Boy Scouts. Some Ziploc bags, nothing interesting, some toothpaste, some toilet paper. You don't care to see any of that. I found these guys. These are salad tongs. How funny is that to put that in a salad? I think that is so stinking cute. I can't hardly even deal with how stinking cute that is and why I'm just now, I seen these a while ago and I'm just now realizing that they're salad tongs. I don't know, but fantastic. Um, I bought three of these little carvable pumpkins again because I have a Thanksgiving day DIY that I would like to do with those. And then I bought some poop. Look at these poop pillows. I just could not believe that they had these. I've seen somebody haul a peppermint poop one and I wanted that one so bad, but my store didn't have it. So I'm gonna keep hunting for that one because that one is so stinking cute, the poop that is um, shaded like a peppermint. I can't even. So I will just, I bought two of these and I will put these back for Christmas. My kids have literally like a five foot stocking and so I'm constantly looking for like bigger stuff like this that I can do this jazz to and like shove down in the bottom of that stocking so that I don't have to buy as many presents as what I normally would. And then just to fill up the space, I bought three of these baskets here for my new buffet that my husband made me. So nice of him. Um, what else? We have, you know, nothing too dangerous. Some goldfish crackers for lunch boxes. And then, before I get to these other stocking stuffer things, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. My son was talking about being boozled um, belly flops the other day, and I had no idea what he was talking about. And I was in the checkout lane, and I seen these, and I'm like, oh, it's candy. 
So I picked up a pack for lunch boxes. I got a pack of these, a little school chocolates, and they look friendly. You know what I mean? They don't look scary. They look, they got smiles on their faces. Um, and then I got skulls and bones, just little hard candies. Dollar Tree really puts out some nice and awesome, if I do say so myself, Halloween candies. And you know, we'll use these and then whichever ones are left, these are monsters, 3D gummies. Um, whichever ones are left will go into the trick or treat bucket, you know what I mean? Um, I'm sure that I will not be using all of that in their lunch box, although that's what I did get them for. Okay, so I found this. Have you guys ever seen this at Dollar Tree? I had gotten a um, beauty something or another, like uh, hair protector and detangler in one of my beauty box subscriptions last month. And I absolutely adored it. I loved it, but it's like $35 for a bottle like this size. And I just can't, I just, you know, I've got kids to put through college and everything like, I just cannot pay. I just will not let myself pay that much money for a detangular. So I got this Barbie one instead. And I figured since I don't have any girls that are around me, I might as well get some Barbie things. Yes. And it does smell like cotton candy. It smells good. Let me know if anybody has tried this bad boy because I'm going to be putting it on my hair. And then I also found this Arm & Hammer Ultra Max 3-in-1 in the Fresh Scent Body Wash. My husband was just telling me, mmm, that smells delish. Um, just telling me, I like the smell of men's um, body washes and bar soaps. Like, I could use that. Like, if they didn't make any of the girl girly scented body washes, like, I could live my life with men's men's scented body wash so that smells really good and i should have picked up more i didn't even smell it in the store such a loser anyway yum we have so many uh uh bars of soap right now that i want to try and get through some of that look at these cutie mccutes these are bath bombs for children yes um they are by crayola this one says a berry cherry scent and it says it changes from red, blue, and purple. So that's awesome. And then this one is a blueberry blast and it goes blue, yellow, green. And they do smell really good. These were the only two that I seen, but here it, there's a green one that I'm missing. But I got these for the boys' stocking, the two little boys', of course. I'm not going to give my 16 year old a bath bomb, um, although that would be funny. And then I found a, I gave him the Dollar Tree last year had those uh, Justin Bieber, Bieber toothbrushes. You guys remember that last year about Christmas time? I did get my eldest child one of those and he didn't think it was so funny in his stocking. I did, but he didn't. Um, and then I found these cuties. These are the Pip Squeaks skinnies um, and there's four just the primary colors there but that is perfect for the five-year-old little hands um, so I did pick up those and then I picked up two of these goo zooka it's slime time um, little kits uh, again stocking stuffer one wooden stick it comes with apparently all the ingredients to make said slime right there I don't know have you guys seen these in the store before I don't generally go down where the kids' toys and stuff are in my store because there's usually like a whole bunch of children there like tearing stuff up and I just want to reach over and put them all in my uh, buggy and tell them to hush it, but I don't. Um, so, but now that it's getting close to Christmas time, I have to get in there and get some stocking stuffers. When I see them and then I just picked up two chargers this one here is pretty cool it lights up I bought one of these a little while ago and these chargers for me don't last very well but it's because my kids don't take very good care of their of their chargers so that's why I buy mine only at the Dollar Tree because I'm not spending five six dollars on a charger and then I got two of these, one for the uh, middle child and one for the big one. These are metal 
brain teasers. And they look different in the package, um, but I'm assuming that they're the same thing. There's no like name on them to say whether or not they are good ones or not. And it says, are you up for the challenge? Yes, I'm not, but hopefully my kids will be. Again, stocking stuffer, um, just to fill that ginormous. I don't know what I was thinking of whenever I bought those big ginormous stockings. Like they're as tall as me, I'm telling you. And now that I've done it one year, I kind of have to continue to do it. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I was gonna be the cool parent. No, fail, because now I gotta fill that sucker up. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. I found some nice things, not too many crafty items, but sometimes that's just the way that it goes in Dollar Tree. Um, I did find things that we will use, and I'm excited to get started on getting some stocking stuffers ready to go. Um, and yeah, if you're new here, like I said before, if you like these videos, please uh, stay, stay and hang out with us and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button so I know to keep making more videos or the down button. It, it's fine. Whatever you want to do is fine with me. Um, and if you have anything to say, suggest, comment, leave it in the comment box below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.